Hi, my name is Frédéric Demoisson. I'm Frenchman. I'm 27 years old and I was born in Nancy, a city located in the Lorraine department in France. I got my PhD in physical chemistry at the Université Henri Poincaré in Nancy one year ago. I carry out all my schooling in this city. Before taking part in the Nano 2 hybrid project in the Shani team at the Université Libre de Bruxelles, I carry out a training course postdoctoral within the ArcelorMittal Recherche Company located at Maison Lemes in France. I studied the surface reactivity of protective coatings on steel. About this project, I decided to take part in for several reasons. First, nanotechnology is a field which always fascinated me. Because I think observation, activation, functionalization of the matter at the semiconic scale allow a better understanding about the reactivity of materials at macroscopic scale, and in particular in the field of the chemical gas sensor. Then, the second reason is I'm quite interested in surface treatments by plasma, and more particularly at atmospheric pressure. This will allow to enlarge my scientific knowledge. And finally, I know that the first steps in this project was to develop an homemade atmospheric plasma reactor. And I think that a good scientist must also know how to build his instruments since it is not commercialized. Moreover, I like challenges on the do-it-yourself. These several regions decided me to join the team of François Reniers. The first challenge of my work is the development of a chamber at atmospheric pressure for plasma treatment on model graphite HOPG, and multi-wall carbon nanotubes. The true innovation of the proposed plasma treatment approach resides in the possibility of full integration in one treatment, surface cleaning, surface activation, and finally, surface functionalization for metal deposition, for example, by spraying of colloid suspensions. The aims are to provide experimental data for theoretical modeling and to provide metal nanotube hybrid material like gold carbon nanotubes for gas sensor fabrication. Today is an important day. The first challenge of my work is achieved. I finished the development of the chamber at atmospheric pressure for plasma treatment and now I will test it. During the four previous weeks, I've been confronted with several difficulties like electric problems, escape of gas, and so on. But today, I am very pleased of the result. The greater difficulty was to develop a system in order to inject a spraying solution directly in plasma. The atmospheric plasma instrument has been developed by a startup company of the USA, Surfix Technologies. The nature, the composition, the flow rate of the plasma gaze, as well as the power of the high voltage generator are variable parameters. Several rails allow to control the plasma gaze, like argon or helium, and the secondary gaze. The plasma gaze can also be used as a current gaze. Indeed, three bubbles were set up in installation. Thus, they make it possible to inject various reagents during the plasma treatment. Two bubbles are placed in thermostatic bath. These devices offer a wide range of temperature from minus 20 to 120 Celsius degrees. The third bubble stays at room temperature. The plasma torch supplied with the 8 voltage generator, the plasma gaze, and possibility with a precursor gaze is placed inside the plexiglass chamber under controlled atmosphere. The operating lever of the spray is easily accessible by the top of the chamber. For the first experiment, I use a sample of HOPG of 1 square centimeter. The spray contains a solution of colloidal gold nanoparticles prepared at the laboratory. After setting up the plexiglass cape, I decrease the distance between the sample on the top edge and I pair the chamber with argon during 5 minutes. Then I switch on the high voltage generator. And finally, after approximately 10 seconds, we can observe luminous argon plasma on the top of the sample. 
The surface cleaning and activation lasts a few minutes. Then I pulverize the colloid solution in plasma. I hope that this step will be effective. This means that this step will be sufficient to deposit the gold nanoparticles on the carbon sample. From a moment, no useful data is found in literature. So this first experiment will provide new results for the project. The first experiment indicates that the instrument is now effective. The next step will be to verify the success of this treatment. The sample will be characterized by photoelectron spectroscopy at the least team in Namur, by transmission electron on atomic force microscopies at the same team in Luxembourg. <laughs>